YouTube, what's up? We're back at it with yet another video today. This is a different one, uh, slightly out of focus again. I gotta make sure this is in focus for my collection video. It was not in focus at all, and I didn't know that the entire video. But t today I'm gonna be teaching you how to spoof your location for data's confirmed because I'm gonna need to fly out to New York for those Yeezys if I get them. And slight disclaimer, if you're not anywhere near the zone like I am, I'm in Cleveland and you know, if I win, I'm gonna have to fly out to New York if I want to get them, because um, my friend from New York, um, if he signs in, I, I believe um, it will literally like cancel all your reservations. So just know that going into this, you'll have to actually be there yourself with ID, um, and then there's an age limit. There's an age limit for 13, so if you're not 13, you're out of luck. So let's switch to the computer right now, and let's get this started. Alright guys, what is up? We're back at it. We get another video. You guys can see me on my home screen right now, and this is my um, this is my phone, and you guys can see it right now. So I'm. This is what you're going to get. Like you can see in the bottom corner, I just tapped it. It's a white screen. Nothing special. Um, but this is what you need because all you have to do, you should be able to see both my uh, phone screen and my actual screen. I'm going to go to Xcode. And I'm going to open the app now uh, this should be the right app and once I click play it's going to build it blah 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 installing and it should start it up to my iPhone it should it says running all right so it's running and then um, you can see I have the New York City uh, longitude and latitude on there which is kind of how you can change it and then right here I can click it and it thinks I'm in New York City so when that goes blue you see that and I'm simply going to go to Adidas Confirmed, and yeah, I'm, I've been looking down this whole video, but you can see an Adidas Confirmed right now for my computer, and I'm going to show this to my screen in a second. Um, once I go to the actual zone, it will say I'm in the zone. So you can see it says I'm in the zone. It thinks I. This is not exactly New York City. You have to find a place inside of New York City. So I picked uh, LaGuardia Airport. Which worked pretty well, but you can pick anywhere else inside of the zone because the zone's pretty small. I mean, I picked, um, I think I picked Broadway and it didn't put me in, but it's weird. I, I just picked LaGuardia Airport and it worked, so I would just use the coordinates I use. So, right there, it thinks I'm in the zone, and I do want the credit. The guy who made this original video will be credited. I just wanted to repost it to my channel so you guys could see it. Um, I think it's uh, it's Young Snowden. That's his name. So shout out to him. Shout out to him for making this video. Dope dude. He knows exactly what he's doing with confirmed. But um, yeah. So that is basically what you do. Um, and then to turn it off, you simply go back on here and click Don't Simulate Location. So how do you make the app? We're gonna do that right now. So I'm going to uh, stop task for now, and we're going to exit out of my phone for a minute. So all you need to do is you need to go to the App Store first off. You need to have a Mac because if you don't have a Mac, you're screwed. But you need the Mac, uh, or you need to get um, VMware Player, which is like a what is it? It's like it's like you're able to run Mac on your Windows computer. And I tried this before. It wasn't for this, but it was for the Snapchat hat, Snapchat hack, and I could hack Snapchat later if I want to. But um, it worked and it, it works with this so you're going to want to search up xcode in your mac store or mac store and you're going to want to download this immediately and then continue watching this video because this is a very long download um it's like three gigabytes i think and it takes a really long so once you're done you're just going to simply open it then you're going to click create a new xcode project this is the software they use to develop actual apps so that's what this is that's what you're basically getting so you click single view application, there's going to be nothing on, the, on it, it's going to be completely blank. You can put the product name as whatever you want, spoof location, and then you have to sign, normally once you download this, this will say none, you're going to want to add um, your Apple account, so you're going to want to go in there and add it, uh, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Then you're going to want to add the organization name, I just put Matt Myers. As my name and then these will be checked your first time you don't want to switch the devices to iPhone or iPad depending on what you're using and then you're going to want to uncheck everything and then click next and then you're going to want to click create oh I gotta uh, redo that location 
Uh, I'm just gonna put A right there. So create, and it's gonna take you to this. So when you're on this, you're good. You know what you're doing. Now you're going to want to connect your iPhone, as I already have it because I was showing it on my um, Mac. You're gonna want to connect it in notifications. Connect it to a USB cable and connect it to your Mac, and then you're pretty much good. So once you get there, you can see on the screen right now, um, you're going to want to scroll up from where you are because it's going to look like this, your very first time using it. You're going to scroll up and click owner's iPhone or your iPhone, whatever name it's under. Um, it should be at the very top. So right here you can see I have spoof location. That's just the app name. Um, none of this matters yet. You're just going to want to click play. And what it's going to do it is it's going to install this to your iPhone. And one question I'm probably going to get is, um, it won't let me open the app. You're going to want to go to, um, your settings. Um, you're going to want to go to your settings on your iPhone and approve your profile, which is basically what this is. So you can see I have it, um, let me pull this back up, uh, quick time. Where's it at? Where's my phone? No. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So right here, I'm kind of force tapping it on it. That's the app right there, as you can see, pretty cool. And this is the old one. This is the one that I had before. I can have two, it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna exit out of this. All right, so you guys basically know where we're at. You have the app installed and when you open it, it will give you a blank white screen, nothing special. Um, so I'm gonna go off of this. Um, it will give you a blank white screen. You don't need to have an icon or anything. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to, what was it? You have to go to, uh, oh, I, I remember. You have to go to File, and then click New, and then go to File from here. And then you're going to want to, from here, you're going to be at the top. You're going to want to scroll down and click GPX File. And then you're just going to want to click, uh, you can click Save as Location. I'm just going to save as New York. Uh, depending on the zone you want to be in, you can save it as whatever you want. You just got to find the coordinates. And what it's going to do is clearly, as you can see, give you the uh, coordinates for uh, Cupertino, which I believe is where Apple is located, so just know that. Um, so I'm going to go to Safari, and what you're going to want to do is go to lat, uh, lat long.net, right there. So now you're going, for me, it's LaGuardia. LaGuardia Airport. Normally you can search it up. As you can see, I'm in LaGuardia Airport, so you're going to want to add these. Uh, shit. Alright, so right here, you can see we're in here, so you just gotta copy and paste it, and see, and then you're going to want to go back in here. Make sure you have these little quotation marks. You just want to erase the first one right here. And then copy longitude as you can see it's working pretty well nothing too different or special about this it's pretty simple just people don't know how to do it and I didn't know how to do it before yesterday and then the name I like to change to New York I'll just change it to NYC Shit. Back. so as you can see it says spoof location now um, before I actually spoof it you want to click um, here and then if it doesn't show anything you just want to go back here and then go back here and turn your phone on I mean it, it doesn't work sometimes sometimes um it doesn't show the option to change your location but it will be there in a second um, I didn't do anything wrong I think no I didn't uh, let me see this so I added the GPX Oh, I, I forgot to do this. I have to play it. So you, before you do anything, you have to play it so it adds it. And then it will open the app. And then once the app is open on your phone like this, you're going to want to go here and click uh, New York, which is the location. So I'm going to exit out of here real quick and show you that I am not um, I'm not on in the location yet. So right here, here we are zone it says I'm not in the zone as you can see it says I'm in Cleveland which is cool so I'm going to go back real quick all right 
So let's exit out of this and go back to Xcode. So I'm in Xcode and now I'm going to simply click this and click New York and bam I'm in New York. According to this it thinks I'm in New York and now it thinks I'm in the zone as it just moved all the way over here. So that's really how you do it. Nothing too special. Hopefully if you're not in the zone you get a chance to cop these Yeezys because they're super limited and 7,000 pairs the most limited Yeezy yet let alone the most limited V2. Um, I find it crazy. I need a pair of these, so might be paying resale. Um, I don't think I'm gonna hit on confirm them if I do. Um, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna be happy or sad that my parents won't let me go to New York. Um, I'm gonna try. Um, I don't think you have to add billing info, but hey, hopefully I'm able to get it. Um, I'll see. Maybe I'll have to pay somebody to take me there because flights are not that expensive for because. It would be a dope vlog too, like the footage is fun too, plus I get to be in New York, so that would be really fun, um, I mean nothing too special about this, it's just a normal, it's just a normal, um, you know, location spoof, so if I hit, um, the problem with my friend, I, w I was gonna pay him like 300 or 150, so I don't know what I told him, I told him I'd pay him a lot to go there and pick up the shoes, because I have a friend who lives in New York, and the problem with that is, if he signs into my account, um, then I'm screwed because, uh, if he signs into my account, I'm screwed, uh, because they will delete your reservation, which is, the, like, if you get in, you confirm your size, and that's the reservation, so, hopefully I'm able to hit, we'll see, um, I'd be really excited to hit these, because these are easy, I've wanted since I saw them, I mean, I've always wanted these, I found it crazy, um, Need these ASAP. Um, excited. Let's see if I hit on confirmed. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna give you guys some tips in the next video on how to copy these Yeezys. I'll see you guys in the next video.